as being full of drunkards on most Sundays. Davis and Branham partnered with former congressman and revivalist William D. Upshaw, and Upshaw was the face of the alcoholic healing elixirs such as Sargon, even though Upshaw was the face of prohibition in the prohibition movement in the United States, and he ran for president under the short-lived prohibition party. A. A. Allen Life in the early 1900s was tough. America was rural. Small farms dotted the landscape where many families struggled to put food on the table. Travel of any great distance was not worth the effort, and medicine was nowhere near where it is today. When William Upshaw was 18 years old, he fell and broke his spine. Being an invalid is never an easy life, but being an invalid at the turn of the century was one of the worst fates anyone could imagine. At just 18 years old, William Upshaw had to come to terms with the fact that he may never walk again. He spent the next seven years of his life in bed. Eventually, by the grace of God, he learned to walk again with the help of his little buddies, a set of wooden crutches that were always by his side. He still faced terrible challenges every day, but the inner strength he built during the past seven years kept him moving forward. William would become famous for his phrases, let nothing discourage you, never give up, and God will heal me, it just isn't time yet. William Upshaw grew in faith and character over the years. He wrote multiple books and eventually became a United States Congressman representing the state of Georgia. His strong stance against the evils of alcohol became his battle cry. He stood boldly for God. And soon, the Lord Jesus would come on the scene and completely deliver him of his injury. On February 8, 1951, Brother Branham held a series of meetings at Calvary Temple in Los Angeles. On the closing night of the meetings, in a vision, Brother Branham saw a stack of hay materialize in front of him. As he watched it, he saw a young man fall and severely hurt himself. As the vision began to reveal the man's life, Brother Branham realized that same man was sitting in the congregation. It was Congressman Upshaw. Go tell the congressman that God has healed him, Brother Branham boldly proclaimed. Congressman Upshaw believed, and he immediately stood up. He never used his little buddies again. And one night I walked into the platform here. Mr. Baxter just left the platform. I looked hanging right out here, and I seen the White House, seen all about it, begin to speak, and I couldn't tell. And I told Mr. Baxter, in a few moments it fell, and I seen where the man was sitting. I see it was him, seen him get hurt when he was just a little boy. And he had been a cripple for all. And I started to leave and uh, the Spirit of God began to fall and a woman had raised out of a wheelchair and some more things had taken place for the Holy Spirit revealing to them. And as I started, Mr. Cop here, the Brother Cop, the pastor, right up there, and I said, go tell the congressman that God has healed him. I seen him going walking away. Here he, would you stand up, congressman, just so the people could see it? Here he is. I, the Congressman of the United States of America that was a cripple for 66 years. Let us say bless the Lord. God bless you, my brother. Three to four, and eight or four years young, speak three and four times a day, preach the gospel of the Christ who saved me, stood by me on bed seven years and made me happy and then took me off of the crutches that I had used for 59 years, and now, good God, praise the Lord.